In this tutorial, we're diving into the basics of text animation in Friction 2D. If you're new into this program, don't worry, I'll walk you through the entire process step by step. By the end of this video, you'll have the simple animated text effect ready to use in your project. So let's get started. So we have this blank project right there. I have a full HD resolution. So let's add a text in this project. We're gonna type in here because it's kind of confusing and I'm gonna change the color. Now let's change the font. Alright, so let's align it to the scene. Center its pivot. And now uh, to animate as usual on in a uh, friction 2D, we have these properties transform the field. We can animate the color of this text by animating this. And then we have the spacing between letters, words, and lines. We can animate this. And we have text effects. This is the thing we're gonna learn in this video. So let's add text effects. So you can see influence, target, minimum influence, diminish, periodic. Uh, so yeah, I think this is new to you since you're not used to this procedural animation. So I'll be explaining what are they. Friction 2D has this procedural animation uh, editor then we can use to make our animation and and this is controlled by this diminish and this peridoic so let's check this diminish uh, to use this diminish and it's to see it we need to go on the node editor as you can see there's this object alien looking object uh, this is the one which controls the animation and helps creating our animations so let's learn how this diminish works you can edit it like this so suppose we're gonna have a translation animation uh, a position animation on this x y axis so what it's gonna do is like the influence of this diminish is zero when this is here and the influence of this diminish is 200 when the text is here so let me show you how it works let me select all of the points hit gx on our keyboard and we move it and you can see that the value we added in here is working so it's going down the text is going down let's add a negative value it's gonna go up now Let's do it again. And I think you got the basic idea of how this diminish and this procedural text editor works in Friction. So we're gonna be using this the diminish to make different sort of animation. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, as you can see, the text reacts to the diminish, how, it's, how the diminish is reacting. So suppose we're gonna have this, you want to create a bouncy text animation, first add value, a negative value in this y axis on the translation. And then we're gonna animate the diminished position from going left to right. So let's go diminish. And let's just uh, click on there. And we don't want to inf animate, animate the influence or the smoothness. So let's the keyframe. So let's remove the keyframes from them. So we have our create. We have created the first keyframe, and now I'm going to go on frame 20 and move this on the right side by clicking GX on my keyboard and right there. Uh, as you can see, we have created this bouncy text animation really without doing like anything. Uh, super confusing like this is very simple to create and then the peridoic let's animate using the peridoic uh, let me explain how it's gonna work let's bring the influence to one so uh, it's just it's the same but what is gonna do, can be useful to create seamless animation or a loop animation let's check how it's gonna work we can make it more smoother like this but if you use the periodic, you have to 
turn off the influence of the diminish and now you can see the text is reacting to the peridoic not the diminish itself we can use both of them but it's gonna be difficult to use you don't have to use both of them at the same time i mean you can use them but it's gonna be kind of difficult okay the diminish has still the animation but uh, let's focus on the peridoic right now i think by seeing the reaction of the text to this peridoic i think you already got the idea how it's gonna react to <clears throat> how it's gonna react uh, let's animate this period you can either make the peri period more more zigzaggy or less zigzaggy i don't know if i'm <laughs> explaining the right way anyway let's make it more smoother yeah it looks good and we use the position of the diminish to influence the text and we are gonna use the shift of peridoic to influence the text let's animate let's review it uh, let's check it So I guess you got the idea how the peridoic and the diminish is gonna work and how you're gonna use them to create your animation. Uh, so let's, I'm gonna remove the keyframes because we're gonna be using the diminish to animate the text first. So right now we have this simple bouncy animation and we can do more by going to the transform and we can animate the opacity if you like, let's choose 50. And see how it's gonna work okay so it, this is working in the opposite way because the opacity is reaching to 50 there uh, reaching to 100 there so you got the idea why it's working like that let's, let's not animate the opacity you can also do animation on the scale let's do it it's gonna behave let's add it to five both axis let's check it Oh damn, that was unexpected, huh? Let's make it to two. And now it seems good. And I think we can also animate the X axis a little bit. So that the text does not overlap with the other ones. Yeah. Very fast and easy to use this diminish. Okay, I've changed the color now it looks better and now let's animate the rotation of this diminish uh, let's suppose we are gonna have we're going to rotate 10 degrees with using the diminish let's see you see how easy and simple it is to use the diminish and the peridoic to animate your text I, I don't think even like After Effects has the simplicity to make text animation and now we're kind of we're almost kind of done with this uh, text animation let's and you can also use these effects and control them by using the diminish let's add let's add a ball effect and see how it's gonna work let's make some more duplicates oops let me change the x-axis to more Kind of weird looking. <laughs> okay, this looks very weird, but you got the idea how it's gonna work. Let's remove it. Okay, if you're wondering what are these beginning, begin event, or end event, this is used if your SVG file is gonna be used on a website and you wanna control how the animation is gonna start or end. So, this is none of our business. Uh, let's use the peridoic now. Let's make it to one. Remove the influence of diminish and see how it's work now. It's gonna work now. Uh, let's yes, animate the shift. So as I told you that the uh, the peridoic is gonna be useful when you're gonna create a loop animation or something seamless. So let's remove the influence. And by the way, we can change the target of the influence. 
to letters to words and we want the diminish to affect the words so let's choose the words and see how it's gonna work you can see it's working now and we can use on the lines but this is not gonna be useful <laughs> this is gonna be useful when you have when you have like something like a paragraph or a lot of text so for me I'm gonna use the I'm gonna be choosing letters and the minimum influence is like you're trimming the uh, diminished object so like if I make it more you see the text is reacting because now it's kind of reacting from here you get the idea okay anyway so let's turn it to zero and let's make more animation and as you can see that I have added a raster effect which is colorize and make the and change the hue and increased the saturation to one and now the text is changing its color when the diminish is reaching to its peak super super easy so that was for this tutorial I hope this video helps you understand how this text editor works this procedural animator works in friction 2d so if this video was helpful please give it a like and subscribe to this channel and i'll be seeing you in the next one yeah goodbye